Welcome to Surviving Sin City. I'm your host, Tiffany Nielsen, and this is our launch to season two. It's also our kickoff to EDC. I'm here on the Las Vegas Strip where it's getting very packed and it's going to continue to get that way all weekend. The Electronic Daisy Carnival brings in 140,000 people a day, and that's just to the raceway. Well, how do you get there? How do you get around it? Well, we've got Las Vegas Metro Police Department telling us exactly what to do and what not to do. Then we've got how to get there with Willie Clemente in a VIP shuttle with I Love Vegas. And don't forget what to wear with Teresa Ryan at Deja Vu Boutique, where she tries on more than an outfit or two, letting you know what the EDC styles are. And now let's take a look at a pool party we went to with Marshall Brushfield at the hideout pool at the Golden Nugget. We are here at the EDC kickoff party, and I'm with the legendary, the urban legend himself, Mr. Marshall Brushfield. How are you, Marshall? I'm doing great, Tiffany. How are you? Absolutely amazing. Loving your party. Thank you very much. I'm glad you guys came out and uh, checked out. I can't believe I haven't been here sooner. For any of you that have not been to the third floor amazing pool at the Golden Nugget, wow, this place is pretty sweet. Right. It is, uh, it's called the hideout, and it's, uh, it's been hiding from people for a long time, so I'm glad they uh, connected with me to uh, help bring it out and get people to know about what the pool here. Well, you have to go through the shark tank and up a few flights of stairs, but it's there. It's kind of like a rave feel where you'd have to uh, get the, the ticket, the egg out of the, uh, the carton and the bodega and then go to the, uh, the alley and then get the directions to the, to the rave. Like, so it's kind of like that with this, with this pool. It's like a scavenger hunt, right? It's kind of like a scavenger hunt, but it's a really good pool. Well, what a hidden treasure. And so this pre-EDC kickoff party features DJs such as yourself, yes. Mr. Marshall Brushfield and Mr. Jeremy Espinosa. Over here at the Golden Nugget at the hideout pool, uh, representing my crew, the Magma Artists, here with uh, El Boogie and Marshall and all the guys, like Marshall, of course, from IV Rescue, bringing us out here for this going up on a Tuesday party. I love it, local Tuesday party here at the pool. We're hanging out here at the hideout, H2O pool, on the third floor of the Golden Nugget with you beautiful people and everybody else here having a good time. What's good? Talk to me. And who else? Uh, we had Tony Comfort Jones. Uh, Daniel Miha is playing right now. Uh, he's from uh, Con Records, which is a Stellar's label. Um, we had El Boogie and uh, a special guest, Ben Snowden, from uh, Southern California today. And so this is kind of like ease into EDC, ease out of EDC, because you're doing this again next week, right? Right, right. So this was the uh, EDC kickoff party, and then we're going to have a EDC recovery party next Tuesday. Well, if they need a recovery, couldn't they also call you for IV rescue? Well, exactly. Yes, they can. So we'll help you recover from EDC on Tuesday, and we'll help you get through EDC all week with IV rescue. Well, for anyone trying to survive EDC, they definitely would need your IV rescue. So can you tell us more about exactly what IV rescue is? Well, we come to you and we infuse a one liter bag of uh, saline infused with vitamins. And uh, it's the equivalent of drinking three and a half gallons of water infused with vitamins. And it rehydrates you within about 15 minutes, cures a hangover, gets you going for the weekend, helps you recover from the weekend. And it's, it's not just good for hangovers, it's good for athletes if you work out a lot. It just in this time of year, you just dehydrated and, and, and sluggish. So you get plugged in with us, you recharge, and you're good to go. So you mean they could just keep going and going and going like the Energizer Bunny or something? You know, we don't recommend that you don't sleep for 72 hours. But if you are not going to sleep for 72 hours, we're the best thing you can put in your body during EDC weekend. Well, that sounds like 9-1 fun to me. All right, let's do it. Thank you so much, Marshall. And then. Um, how did you get the idea for IV Rescue? Was it from an EDC type experience or what exactly got you the idea? It was, it was actually a pool party. Um, people were coming to the pool parties and were just getting way too drunk and not making it to their uh, nightclub reservations. So how do we get these guys from the pool to the nightclub and it, so the nightclubs are not so mad at the pools. And that's basically how IV Rescue started. So let's say it's Saturday morning and people are not quite ready to go the next couple days to EDC. Can they call the number that's in the Sin City Survival Guide and uh, reach you for a little bit of emergency relief? Oh, well, of course. You can call us 24 hours a day. We do charge a little bit extra after 10 p.m. and before 8 a.m., but other than that, it's always $200 uh, per IV, and we come to you no matter where you are, and uh, we'll get out to you within about 45 minutes to an hour. It's only like 1000 extra, right? Uh, it's $200. <laughs> oh, Just kidding. No, no that, that's for the treatment itself. Right? Oh, right, right. Yeah, just for the treatment. 
I was talking about for extra, another thousand dollars if it's the middle of the night, right? You know, it's emergency no, calls. It's 50 if it's EDC, extra. you know, no, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> right, right, yeah, it's 50 bucks extra. It's within reason, guys. So if you're feeling like you can't make it through the next day, do what you can and, you know, call Marshall and he's the man. He'll uh, snap you back into life. I know he's done it for me several times. So great party and I guess we'll see you at the closing, right? Yes, thank you. Uh, thanks for coming out and uh, supporting us and we hope to see you guys next week. And if uh, somebody has an emergency, where do they call? 702-686-5787. Uh, and uh, if you guys would want to book a cabana here, you call the Golden Nugget. Cabanas are actually really cheap. If you use the magma code, it's like $200, and then you get a bottle of uh, New Amsterdam vodka. It comes highly recommended by Surviving Sin City, so definitely come check it out at the closing party. Right, Thanks, thank Marshall. Thank you. Millions of people across the globe are discovering success and beauty through the power of Instantly Ageless. Put extra income in your life with a product that gives you instant results. Be part of the fastest growing home business of 2015. Now see it in action for yourself with the Instantly Ageless live demonstration. What you want to do is twist off the top. You want to squirt out a very small amount. Flip the lid over and reseal it. So you can use this file two or three more times. Two. Is tap a very, very thin layer. I'm just tapping a very thin layer on her skin, but you want to leave it about 10 or 15% damp on the skin. Do not rub it all the way in because the product works as it's drying, so you want it to allow it to do this. Okay, I'm gonna start a timer I can't see the... Now you haven't okay. seen anything yet. You can, you can use Instantly Ages before or after your makeup. First of all, you want to do all your preventative maintenance and all the good stuff first. Make your own hours, be your own boss, and create the lifestyle that revolves around freedom and residual income. Sample this amazing product and test drive the business absolutely free. Try Instantly Ageless from Jeunesse and put extra income into your life today. Fill out the form to claim your free sample now. I'm here with Lieutenant Roxanne McDerris of the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department Events Planning Section. And we we're going to be talking about EDC. How are you today? I'm doing well. How are you? Excellent. Thank you so much for being on the show. Absolutely. And so can you tell me a little bit about what's going to be going on with EDC and what what exactly people can expect to see in, in terms of what EDC is? How many people? Um, they have expecting 140,000 people a night. So it's one of the largest music festivals uh, in the nation, especially here in Las Vegas. Uh, brings in a great crowd. We love it. It's going to be their fifth year here. Um, we partnered with them very closely to make sure it's a safe and successful event. Awesome. And so how would you go about getting that many people to the raceway? Are they, there are, we only have two roads to and from the raceway, so everybody knows traffic is an issue. Uh, EDC provides shuttle buses from eight different locations up and down the strip, including the Llama Lot in downtown. And then there's also private parking out there. We just ask everybody to be patient on their way out there and hopefully get a shuttle pass and enjoy the ride. Well, I've done it both ways, so I know the shuttle bus and I also know the traffic. So yes. for those people that live here and are not attending the event, are there other ways they can reroute to get to the event or around the event? We just suggest for our locals to kind of stay away from that area from 
dusk till dawn on the days that the Electric Daisy Carnival is here. Um, there's always traffic issues. They can go the long way around the 215 uh, and other ways around it, but to avoid the 15 and right near um, Las Vegas Motor Speedway. And is there anything else that people should be aware of during EDC? Um, just particularly this weekend, we know we all have been under a high heat warning. So locals and those that are coming to EDC, just make sure they hydrate, get rest, and drink lots and lots of water. I know people are going to be out there having a good time, but with that many people and the lows in the 80s, it's still going to be very warm and very hot for us that night. For all those party goers that may be intoxicated, what kind of messages do you have for them, like if they're going to choose to go, or should they just take a shuttle bus? What other ideas do you have as far as what they should do? I think the shuttle bus is ideal. Uh, we always want everybody to live by our party smart. If you're going to go out there, if you're going to drink, you're going to have a good time, have a designated driver or take the shuttles. Uh, make sure that you don't get behind the wheel of the car. Obviously, it's going to be supported by a lot of officers, Metro and NHB. Uh, we do have DUI enforcement going on around there. So the safest thing is to get your shuttle pass and then you just party smart. Uh, and with that, we always say to make sure you're with your friends, stay with your friends, um, don't get lost in the crowd, uh, make sure you have people around you, stay as safe as you can. And as the event planner for the Las Vegas Metro Police Department, that's a big job to fill. How exactly do you prepare for an event like this? Uh, I have great staff at my office. Um, Officer Rick Nogus is my lead planner, and we basically start working on this year's event as soon as last year's ended, um, just to make it better and work with all of our partners and make it successful. But it takes months and months of hard work, and I have a great staff that does that. And so at this point, the, all the officers and everyone are excited about the event? We are. It's a great event. Um, the crowd is really good. Um, we enjoy interacting with them. A lot of us have learned how we get candy, um, and we just have fun. <laughs> I love it. And if, do you have maybe one last survival tip for anyone going to the event? Be patient, drink lots of water, and have fun. Say hi to us when you're out there. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. This was taken at EDC 2013. That is the main stage. And wow, what a feeling. I had no idea what to expect, and I was blown away at my first weekend of EDC in Las Vegas. Words can't even describe it really. So if you have not gone, then please get your tickets and don't miss out on it this weekend at the Speedway in Las Vegas. That's the Electronic Daisy Carnival. Check it out. Thanks for watching. I'm with Willie Clemente, and we are with I Love Vegas, yes. talking about shuttles for EDC. How are you doing, Willie? I'm doing great, Tiffany. Thanks for having me again. Thank you. Are you excited for EDC? I'm very excited. A lot, a lot of work put in this year, so I'm happy to see the, the culmination of all of it. So tell us about what you exactly you offer for EDC shuttles. So this year we're offering uh, exclusive VIP transportation. We're going to be doing Hummers, party buses, and limos on the way down, leaving from our pop-off point, which is here at Crazy Horse 3. And then on the way back, we're going to be party vans, and the party vans are going to be stocked with some of our sponsors, Rescue Water, Red Bull, and also some uh, Crazy Stores gift cards and I Love Vegas swag. Great. Are you still doing the little backpacks that yeah. I got last yeah, year? Yeah, we're going to have the backpacks and, uh, you know, those little tote bags, very nice to have at EDC. Put all your stuff in there to carry around all, all day. So what time do your shuttles start picking up? Well, our first shuttle leaves at 7 o'clock, and every 45 minutes after that, so 7, 7.45, 8.30, 9.15, the last shuttle leaves at 10. What about picking up? On the way back, we're starting at 1.30 and leaving every half hour. Last shuttle will be leaving at 6.30. The last shuttle leaves at 6.30 a.m.? Yep, what if you miss the shuttle? If you miss the shuttle, I'm going to do everything I can to make sure you don't. Just try to stay in contact with me. I'm going to be out there the whole time. So we're going to make sure we don't leave anyone behind. Well, last year I was very impressed because you definitely made every effort possible to make sure that everyone got a ride yep. back. So that was awesome. And what is your survival tip? for EDC since this is not your first time there. The most important thing is definitely staying hydrated, stay safe, but don't forget or don't lose your three-day shuttle pass. This being number one, this is for you, Tiffany. Thank you so much, Willie. Ultimate VIP, I love it. Well, thank you, and we're going to go figure out what to wear to EDC and get prepared, okay, so let's do it. thanks. Let's go.
tip for surviving Las Vegas is don't stay out all night. Stay away from the alcohol and go see the shows and see as many shows as you can and go to as many events as you can and have fun, you know. But uh, you're gonna go out, go out one night, the next night, relax, enjoy the spa, but go see the entertainment. The entertainment here is incredible. And then, uh, you know, take it easy, you know. you've seen us talk to the lieutenant about PIO information, of the information on exactly what's going on with EDC. Then we had Willie Clemente with the VIP shuttle service. And then we actually went and spent some time with Marshall Brushfield, who had an amazing pool party to kick off the EDC week. And now I'm here with the manager of Deja Vu Boutique. Hello. Yeah, how are you? Great, how are you? Excellent, thank you so much. What are you ladies in for today? Well, obviously, EDC costumes. EDC. That's right. <laughs> so how many people do you have come in here looking for a costume? Um, we get quite a few. Uh, we cater mostly to the women, the young women. Um, they like the bright colors. The fuzzy stuff are always very popular. Uh, would you ladies like to see some? Yes, I have a couple maybe quick questions. Sure. So, um, well, there's a lot of different things in the store, obviously, but like, can you maybe just tell us a little bit about like this, for example, these um, interesting uh, ooh, panties, that's I guess? Fun. Um, uh, these are high-waisted panties with a shredded side. They also come in a different styles. We have our unicorn and rainbows, and we have our little monster set here with party eyeball monster. tops. I think you need to try those on, Teresa. What do yeah, you think? Yeah, I could do the party monster. Party monsters Heck, we're going? Yeah, that's my thing. <laughs> Perfect. And I so what, are, what hours choice. are you open? So we're that actually can open. find a costume late, right? 24 hours. Ooh. Absolutely. Wow. So if you want to come in early in the morning or late at night, it doesn't matter. We're so you're on your way to EDC or, you know. Or headed back from the first yeah, night and you need great. a new outfit. That's the place to be. And you have the stuff all year round though, right? Uh, we do carry most of the stuff year round. It Sometimes more the colorful. stuff gets a little dwindled. But we do carry the sequins, the furries, some of the bright colored two-piece outfits all the time. Is it really going to pick up over the next couple days as EDC gets going? Absolutely. The more hype they bring, the more customers come in. Especially with all the nightclubs and the casinos doing their parties. And now you're on Surviving Sin City, so of course they're going to be coming in by the busload. <laughs> the busload. I'm excited. All right. I am too. Cool. So uh, let's find a costume for you, Teresa. All right. So you were saying something about this party monster look at this mm -hmm. monster. I kind of like that. That's fun. Perfect. Want to try that out? We can try in a couple. How about the one with the wings that were here? Oh, I like that little wings. dragon one. It's a dragon. It's we adorable. I think I'm going to have to go with the pink because. Pink? Pink's just more my thing. So it's an outfit. We also have available wings and a hood. Would you also oh, like to try that? I would. I would. Do you have any claws or like uh, hand um, or leggings? I'm sure I can find you a pair. Would you also like to try on a pair of shoes with them? Yeah, absolutely. Sure. I'd love that. Now, what kind of shoes do you recommend? Like, if I were just going out after EDC, more of a heel, and if I were doing EDC, more of a, maybe like a boot? Um, definitely like a boot. The boots are more comfortable, um, and we do have fluorescent heels that activate under the UV lights. Ooh, I would like to see some of those. So that would be Teresa, perfect. weren't you dressed like this last year? Yeah, kind of like that as a dancer or not. This year I'm really excited about being able to actually attend and not be working because I didn't miss all my favorite DJs dancing on set. But you're going to be dancing either way. Of course, of course, but now I get to dance my favorite DJs. And even though the dancer knots I love, I wanted to see some of like, you know, the big headliners and I missed them because I was too busy dancing. Now, as fun as it is to think that we're going to wear these kind of excellent shoes out to the raceway, let's be realistic. It's going to be difficult walking. You should probably wear tennis shoes. <laughs> right? Or some sort of like furries with uh, some sort of comfy shoe. So these are really cool. I guess these light up. What? Yeah. So I could t so see myself rocking something like that. Oh yeah, for sure. 
You're gonna be lighting it up. Yeah, Seriously, yeah, yeah. that's crazy that the costume does it. My Elsa Wonderland did that, but EDC is a whole different thing. We do have a couple of costumes that come with lights. Um, we also sell lights separately. So if you have any pockets in your costume that can hold something, yeah. you can put an LED flashing light. Those are cool. I love that. those run around like a, they come in a pack of five or what? Um, they're sold each. singly. They're about $2 each. Oh my gosh. That's, yeah. These are great. I like those a lot. All right, Teresa, do you think you have enough outfits now? I think I have enough to choose from. Maybe we should start off with like a couple just to begin. Baby steps, right? All right. All right. Come on, girl. Monster wolf ones. Let's see the daisy on the back. That's yeah, what it's that's all the about. winner for sure. I love sure. it. What do you think? Yes? I do like it. I do. I might be a yes. We're gonna have to ask one of the guys. I think it's yeah. a yes. I think it's a yes. Well, if you don't have your costume yet, you can come down here and find the perfect one at Deja Vu Boutique at 3247 Industrial Road. And that's in Las Vegas, so make sure you get down here and get your costume. The only place with costumes with this much selection and this much hair. And at any hour. So you can come down here 24 hours, all EDC weekend, and any day of the year and get a costume for anything you might be celebrating. Thank you again to all my guests who were kind enough to make time to come on this episode for our kickoff to EDC. And make sure you tune in again next week to see our highlights from the EDC festival. Have fun and be safe. That's right. Don't forget, take a shuttle, don't drive. Be safe. Don't drive. All right. See you next week. Bye. Let's do it. EDC. Woo! You too.